My name is Matt Clark and I'm the founder of UVA. We're a practice uh, based in London and for 20 years now we have been very curious about uh, our relationship as human beings with technology and really we look at both the positive and negative aspects of that relationship from a critical point of view I guess. The medium as we use offer us uh, the ability to create dynamic spaces which uh, reflects on the historical early days of UVA which was based in live performance and uh, so we've always been interested in the idea of uh, performative spaces and obviously technology allows you to create very dynamic spaces and the use of light in particular you know it's about creating a feeling uh, in order to convey and communicate an idea quite often. So Silent Symphony is a work which follows a series of installations that we refer to as being spatial instruments, where we're using electromechanical sculptures to conduct light and sound to sort of transform space and the environment. This work in particular is a study of the orbital resonant patterns that occur at the very edges of our solar system. And we've taken that information and kind of physicalized it and turned it into a performance. But the performers are these gigantic robotic arms that emit light and sound. I imagine the emotions people have fluctuate because there are moments where it's very meditative and hypnotic, and then it kind of speeds up, becomes more chaotic. So it kind of fluctuates between moments of order and chaos. So Present Shock um, is an artwork that is inspired by two things, really. One being a book by Alvin Toffler, Toffler which was called Future Shock. Uh, in this book, he predicted a future where the rate of change through information uh, will be too much for humans and it will kind of disrupt society in ways that are unimaginable. And, and so our work, Present Shock, is about living in this, in this time where, as human beings, we are confronted with a mass of information and how we cope with that. Not only the amount and the speed, but also navigating truth, you know, what's true, what is, um, what's false information. But it's also quite a meditative work. Uh, when you walk into the installation, there's 30 statistical clocks all counting up in real time. And... It sort of gives you a snapshot of as much things that are going on right now in the world from a micro level all the way up to the cosmos. Um, so if you really concentrate, you can read this information, but it's really difficult to do because you are confronted with all of this information at once. It's meant to sort of encapsulate that feeling one gets of being overwhelmed, I guess, by information. So Vanishing Point is an installation again it's part of a series of works that we refer to as being light architecture where we're using the medium of light as a as a physical material or the illusion of something immaterial being physical and as you walk into the installation uh, you are literally inside this volume of light and it's reconfiguring space very slowly and as it does that it reveals um, a kind of embedded musical score and certain geometries are related to rules that produce certain sounds, chords, types of sounds, strings, uh, female voices, male voices and it, it kind of reveals this generative um, composition over uh, a 15 minute cycle. But within that 15 minute cycle there are all these variables, so it's never the same. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a magical piece. It's very difficult to understand the depth. People seem to spend long periods of time in there. <laughs> so I think it's, uh, it's, it's a very interesting book.